More Panther Sports Talk with head coach Mark Farley capping a dominant victory over St. Thomas that closed out the non-conference schedule. It was the first start for Theo Day in three years. The last time he started was in, uh, in high school. Evaluate his performance in this new role. I thought it was good. It was he 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 had a lot better performance at Sacramento State in the first quarter coming out of the game. This was his first full time start, and they were throwing some stuff at him that was unique and and uh, for them because they really threw the kitchen sink in as far as putting pressure on him. So I thought he did good, and I think that game will only make him better because each day now he has to improve, and he needed a full game so he can go back and watch that tape and get better. 2017 his last start, but uh, in this game, 18 for 31. 193 yards, a touchdown, and an interception where he kind of forced it towards the sideline there trying to make something happen. But that's the fun thing about good plays and bad plays is you always have something to evaluate as you get ready for the tough conference schedule. Well, he did. He made it, it was a critical area. He was actually trying to throw it out of bounds. And I told him you should throw it to his mom if he's going to throw it out of bounds. But, uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, that's as much as you think that you just go out there and play the game and your mind reacts in a different way when you're in battle and uh, you know that's where we have to find out about a player. Matthew Cook was perfect three for three he hit from 42 46 32 and was five for five on PATs uh, continued confidence and stability from that kicking position. He's we're fortunate because you know he struggled in the spring but you go back and look what happened in the spring we didn't have any place to practice and kick field goals and so having the dome and having having our, our field back that we can practice every day is he looks like himself again from years past and more so than what he did in the spring so yeah we're very fortunate to have uh, Matt. And looking at the receivers. Uh, Hampton had five receptions for 40 yards, Weston five for 86. One of those a long, about 60 yard touchdown. Happy with that receiving core? I am. I'm, uh, they're making production. I, feel, I, I think we're leaving a lot of uh, meat on the bone. There's a lot of plays out there that we can still do better in. I think it comes down to the throws of Theo and uh, the routes of the receivers. But the, the skill set is there, and that's what's exciting going into break right now is we know where we're at. We're two and one, and we have a lot of very good talent that we can we can really work hard with this week to get ready for the conference season. A story coming up on Isaiah Weston. Uh, what makes him a special player and a threat for your offense? Oh, he's a he's a dominant player as far as speed is concerned and height. And the key for him was is he's been out for two years with some nagging injuries. So each week, if you watch him, is he's gotten better because he's gotten more confident of not getting nicked up. And now he's running at that speed that he ran at as a freshman for us. So you're we're seeing flashes. Fans are seeing flashes of what he was two years ago. We're starting to see it every day, and that will only multiply as we go through the season. You know, he's a big target. Man, that breakaway speed on that touchdown, he just... Oh, you ain't gonna, he gets out in the open, you ain't gonna catch you. <laughs> he can run. Here's that story on Isaiah Weston.